Hello everybody, I am Duke James, and this is the continuation of my Muscovy campaign. Fighting Vorotinsk. Killing Vorotinsk. Annexing Vorotinsk. They're going over here. To Yelitz. Kill them. Yeah, hey, but you guys just, uh, siege stuff. Poland declared war in Crimea, so I'm gonna watch this war with great interest. And see how this war develops. If, uh, Crimea wins this war, then, yeah, I'm not going to... Probably won't be able to defeat them myself. Let's have those guys siege down the province, and then these guys will hunt. They will hunt them down. Let's put the uh, siege guy here. And the not siege guy over here. They should get stuck in Moscow. There we go. Alright, now I just have to siege down their province. And then I think after this I'll fight Great Perm. And I will take all their territory if it's not too much dip, because I only have claims on this province. And uh, they're pretty far away from my capital and a different culture, so if I have problems with them, I'll just release them. Like I did with these guys. Let's have these guys drill. Get a little bit of drill going. I assume Crimea is going to lose this war until Transoxiana shows up. Because they are in this war. As far as I know. Yeah. I think a like lightning quick war could work. Maybe grab a couple provinces before Transoxiana comes, but... If you're not out of the war quick enough and they show up, I'm pretty sure they're packing they're packing uh at least ten to fifteen thousand men. Let's see I'm topping off relations with my vassals. Request for military access from Transoxiana. Hmm. Do I want them? Do I want them to come through my lands to get to, to Poland? 
See, this is a war where I want both of these guys to lose. Like, I don't... I don't want either of them to win. Crimea? Without a Transoxianan alliance. I don't think they're bad. Like, in terms of fighting them, they're not as bad as Poland? And all their vassals? How many troops do they have? They have 11,000 troops. Hmm. I'm just gonna not. I'm going to deny them. That's actually a decent amount of troops. It's more than I have. Can they not get over here? That's what I'm wondering. Alright, I can take these guys out. See you later. Let's move these troops over. My thinking is, this province is going to get banking eventually. So when I fight Poland, I should probably take these five provinces. And that'll help shore up my borders. And I can get a province that has banking embraced. Up oh, there there, Transoxiana. It's only 6,000. Damn it, Transoxiana. See, the worst thing is I don't know that they exist. Like, I, I can't interact with them. So it limits my options. Should be able to do that mission now. Permanent claims on East Don and West Don. So I have permanent claims on these nine provinces. Would they give me anything? No. See if this is a. Uh, there is no strength of alliance modifier. Which just proves to me that they're they're pretty powerful. So I do not want to move against them yet. Probably form Russia, move against Poland. Actually, would they give me... Would they give me Tor Pets? It is my core. Base value and relative worth of province. Relative strength of alliance is only four. Pay 
apparently I don't have a CB even though I have oh no I have to fight Poland wait no okay so why is or do I have to attack Lithuania it's so weird There's 15,000 more troops. So you have about a year before Transoxiana shows up. I don't know if that's enough to get a peace deal going. Austria is unifying their lands or something? Alright, great perm. Hopefully I can get to these territories before they build troops. So now I just need the Novgorod lands, those seven lands, these three, and then these four. They built up troops. Don't go over. They're tech 9, I am tech 8. I'll take, take a tech 9. Let's go ahead and fight them. Both the tech, both the same tech level. I outnumber them 2 to 1. Hey, Polotsk embraced banking. So it's like it's now going to spread from this province. <clears throat> I don't have a good relationship with them. I'm gonna improve my relations. Hopefully that helps. Because bad relations hinders the spread. So. Alright, stack wipe the rest of Perm's troops. Ooh, Transaxiana lost. Ah, my throat. Let's see. Transaxiana lost in their fight. They have a lot of cavalry. I don't know what their tech level is. Because I don't know they exist. Be useful information to have. Damn it.
Damn it, stop building troops. Accept it. You are Russian now. I should win this fight. Poland accepted with Kazan. So I don't need the spy to work in Crimea anymore. So I'll build one in Kazan. Lithuania is besieged. If I could call the Teutonic Order in, I could jump on them. Poland, that is. Hey, fresh manpower. Fresh troops. Try and take some of these guys off. So most of Crimea is occupied. But then most of Lithuania is occupied. Poland could have a successful peace deal right now, if they wanted. Probably grab a couple provinces. Most of this territory ah, most of this territory could just be taken back rather quickly because there's no forts. Lithuania is not looking good. Alright, one well, that siege.
else is going on in the world? Granada still exists. Let's bring those troops back. The Ottomans are expanding, but the uh, Empire of the Romans still exists. There we go. Seventy eight dip. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. And then uh, the truce with Novgorod ends in four years. So probably in about five years I will form Russia. So for now, I will finish this part here and pick up the next part. So I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next part. Goodbye.